The opportunity for developers in the Web 3.0 industry is absolutely insane. You know, there's a huge shortage of tech talent in this space, and the demand is off the charts compared to the supply. So, you know, this is one of the reasons that blockchain is one of the highest paying fields in tech. But, you know, if you're trying to break in this space, then how do you actually land your first job? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can do that in detail and actually leverage LinkedIn, the social network, to help accomplish this. If that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to know how to master blockchain step by step, start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about how you can leverage LinkedIn to break into the blockchain industry. So let's talk about the prerequisites before you even, uh, you know, approach this strategy. So number one is you, of course, need to have acquired the skills that people are actually going to pay you for. So like if you've been watching this channel, maybe you've done some tutorials and maybe you've gone through the blockchain bootcamp or done some of the blockchain mastery uh, lessons. You definitely need to have the skills first and then you need to prove that you have the skills by creating your own portfolio project in an unguided way and then put that portfolio project out there where people can use it and open source the code and all that stuff. So what, if you've got to that point, that's when you're ready to start pursuing this strategy. All right, so let's talk about why LinkedIn in the first place. Because, you know, I, I treat LinkedIn like one tool in the tool belt. You know, you should be having a multi-pronged strategy when you're trying to find your first blockchain job. But LinkedIn's a really powerful resource that can increase the likelihood that you're actually going to get a result. Let's talk about why. So number one, it's a social network, okay, where basically the main purpose of getting on the social network in the first place is for career advancement. So you're not going to be mixed in there with like people, you know, posting food pictures of their lunch on Instagram or their family vacations. Like it's okay for you to get on there and talk about what you're doing because everybody's on there to try to, you know, help one another out. And so for this reason, like you can share a lot of things on on LinkedIn as a social network that's going to help you out in getting your first job. And the other reason is it's a massive search engine. So if you just optimize your profile correctly, then it's a way that a lot of people can find out about you on LinkedIn and lead to hiring conversations. So now we're talking about some strategies on exactly how you can do that. All right, so first let's talk about some you know, profile optimizations because this is gonna be really critical because you know whenever people are searching for you on LinkedIn, they're gonna just glance at your profile and that's quickly gonna say whether they even wanna talk to you in the first place and also whether they can even find you in the first place. So let's, let's talk about that. So, Number one, you need to clearly communicate, you know, who you are. So basically, you know, you, you need some sort of uh, good headshot to put here. Uh, you also need your name. And of course, here's what's really, really, really important is getting your job title correct. OK, so now this is where a lot of especially new developers are going to go wrong. OK, because a lot of them are going to say aspiring you know, uh, fill in the blank, whatever developer that you want to do. That's the wrong thing to do. What you want to do is actually put the job title that you want, not the one you necessarily feel 100% qualified for, because a lot of those conversations are going to happen, or uh, the clarification on that type of thing will come up, you know, maybe in your about section or when you start actually talking uh, to hiring leads, okay? So, you know, you definitely don't want to say, I'm an aspiring blockchain developer, I'm an aspiring Solidity developer, you just want to say, like, I'm a Solidity developer. So that's the other thing, is you want to actually focus on the keywords here, because the keywords matter in your job description, okay? Because what's going to happen is people are going to get on LinkedIn and search for, okay, I need a Solidity developer. And so if you're trying to get a Solidity developer job and you put, you know, blockchain engineer, you may not come up with a Solidity developer search results or maybe not at the top of the list, okay? So basically optimizing your uh, job title for the keywords that you actually want to work for is really important. And it's actually important if you want to get found, okay? And so let's talk about some other things that are really important too, which is think about who's looking at this, like recruiters and like hiring managers and things like that. Maybe even founders are literally getting on LinkedIn and they're just searching for you so that the first want to find you. So you need to have the key relevant keywords in your job description. Okay. Then you also need to optimize a couple other things. Like, because if they look at your page, they're going like, to have a couple really quick checks about whether they're even going to continue to have a conversation or not. So one of them is going to be your location, okay? So you need to have that filled out in case there's any, you know, need for it to be a local type thing, which in many cases is not that big a deal with blockchain because it's so remote friendly, but they may care about time zones, okay? So you want to have your location filled in, all right? The other thing is this uh, about section here. So this is where you can go into more detail and you want to really pitch this uh, well, okay? So, you know, again, earlier, like I said, especially if it's your first job, you don't want to say like I'm an aspiring developer here. You know, you want to just say, here's what I am. Okay, but here's where you can clarify things. Okay, so in, in your about section, you can re-clarify what you are. So you want to have uh, the keywords for what your job title is or what you're, you're going for. Uh, you can talk about, uh, 
you know, the other types of technologies you work in here. So, you know, if you're, especially if you're starting out from scratch, you really want to focus on what you're competent in. So let's say you understand Solidity, you say understand Web3.js, all that type of stuff, uh, or Ethers.js and Truffle and, and Hard Hat. I would definitely like talk about, you know, what you're c- competent with. Talk about unit testing, talk about all that stuff, because you probably know a lot more than you actually think you do. And here's a good place to reassert that, okay? But you probably want to have to say, you know, here's what my job title is. Here's what my experience experiences. Here's what I'm looking for. Here's the technologies that I work with. But also, more importantly, just say like, hey, here's the projects that I've built. Because again, you want to have portfolio out there so people can talk about that. And you can say, hey, I have built blank, fill in the blank, and then, you know, talk about how they can actually see these projects listed down below. And so that leads me to the next thing. You can go on your profile and add your portfolio projects to your LinkedIn. So if you see this as an example here, here's another example of, you know, a good keywords, Node.js, Solidity, and Web3 developer, smart contract developer. This is very uh, keyword rich, and you can see the uh, hashtags here for Ethereum, Solidity, Blockchain. Very keyword rich. It's probably going to get found. And so you can see down here, um, there's a project. So you can see projects, Master Pool Manager, uh, NFT Marketplace. You can literally click Show Project, and people can go through. It's just a Netlify app. You can connect your MetaMask and actually uh, you know, use your portfolio projects. It's a perfect example of how you can do this on your own LinkedIn. And one more quick mention on your LinkedIn summary here. I'll put a link to this article down in the description below. But these are 13 creative LinkedIn summary examples on how you can write your own. So this can kind of give you some ideas on how you could hook people in. And then talking about your LinkedIn summary being like a digital elevator pitch. Okay, so you want to think about, you know, what the person is looking for and how you could craft your best digital elevator pitch on your LinkedIn. So here's an example. You know, I'm a sales rep dedicated to helping local Oklahoma City service businesses grow their customer base and de- decrease customer churn. I have six years of experience in local sales, and I've consistently met, exceeded my quota throughout my career. In the last you know year, I've topped out leaderboards, uh, sorry, six out of 10 months on average. Close, so basically, it closed 10% faster than your peers. So talking about who you are, what you do, who you're helping, why they should hire you over somebody else. And this is a really great condensed pitch. And so you can see some other attributes of this, basically, like uh, how to do it, creating a line with a hook, telling them what you can do, speaking about your expertise, all that type of stuff. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. All right, so one more thing you can do with your profile uh, to optimize it, to get found is actually setting your settings to open for work, okay? This can actually make you appear in certain search results uh, and maybe not appear in others, okay? Now, this is can be kind of a tricky type of thing uh, if you're working your regular job or not where you don't necessarily want your employer to see if you're opening for work. There's different settings where you can say it's only open for recruiters versus everybody else. But there are some pros and cons to this strategy as well. Like we've outlined here, you know, job seekers, be careful to LinkedIn's new open to work feature. Uh, They talk about some, you know, uh, you know, they they talk about some pros and cons, like, you know, you'll be contacted anyway. It could hurt your chances of being contacted. I don't know that I totally agree with all these things, but these are the, uh, some types of things uh, that you could, you know, take into account. I- I'll put it this way. Basically, you shouldn't just expect to click on turn on you know, looking for work and expect it to fix all your problems. But I think in many cases, uh, it's going to help rather than hurt. All right. So those are some examples of how you can optimize your LinkedIn profile to get found. Again, this is where like basically recruiters, hiring managers, maybe even founders or other people who are big decision makers and companies are getting on LinkedIn and using it as a search engine to find you. And so you want to have your profile optimized where they can find you. And then once they find you, that that your profile actually entices them to open up a conversation rather than just look at it and then bounce, okay? So that's what you can do there. Now, that that's from a completely passive standpoint, okay? And uh, you can also do other things on LinkedIn that are more of an offensive approach. So, you know, LinkedIn is a social network. You can treat it like a social network. You can post content on a regular basis. So one really easy, dead simple thing that you can do here is while you're building your portfolio project, talk about it on LinkedIn. You know, maybe uh, create a video overview of what you're building and then put it out there and just share it. I'm not saying that you're just going to put out that video and then boom, instantly you're going to land a job. But if you do this over time, like that can have some consistency where it's going to increase the likelihood that you could actually get eyeballs on that, okay? And you don't want to just put that tutorial out there saying like, hey, hire me, but it's just adding value. And you'd be surprised at what kind of conversations that can open up to. So, you know, that can can, uh, get surfaced in the LinkedIn algorithms and to other people's feeds. Um, You can also do things like post in LinkedIn groups, okay? You can see examples of, you know, developer groups specifically related to blockchain, like Solidity developers, okay? There's even groups specifically for remote jobs. 
So some pretty easy stuff in there is you could, you know, you can talk about, you know, what you're working on. You can try to provide value. If there's anybody new in the group that has questions about how to do something, if you can answer any of those questions, that's going to be providing value. And that can quickly start to gain such a reputation and, you know, create some sort of organic leads that could also lead to higher conversations as well. Basically, anything you can do on a regular social network to add value, you can do that on LinkedIn. But, you know, it's laser targeted because at the end of the day, the whole goal is for career advancement. And that's what you can do. So a couple of things you can do in terms of offensive with LinkedIn um, is that you can reach out to recruiters directly. Okay, so if there are recruiters on LinkedIn who are uh, hiring blockchain developers or placing blockchain developers, you can talk to them directly. And then you may want to make sure you got your profile optimized before you do that. But that's one way to also play the offensive game. The other way is to just search for jobs directly. Okay, so you can just look for, uh, you know, let's see here, Solidity Developer, Blockchain Developer, whatever it is, and you can actually find, you know, the jobs results right here and then different jobs uh, that you might want to apply to. Now, there's going to be a lot of senior level jobs that pop up. If you're a senior developer, that's great for you. Most people watching the video probably won't be at that skill level quite yet. Um, but one thing is like, a lot of people pay to post jobs on these websites that cost a lot of money um, to advertise for those jobs because they they want that top tier talent, but they're not always going to pay to like uh, advertise for junior developer positions. Okay, so like when somebody is hiring, that's usually an indication that they're just hiring in general, not necessarily that it's just for that job. So there may be uh, open roles for people with less experience that uh, you know aren't necessarily advertised here. And you know, you could you could talk to those companies and open up hiring conversations that way, even if they don't have the exact job that you feel qualified for uh, posted on LinkedIn. All right, so that's an overview of how you can use LinkedIn to find your first blockchain job. So again, at the end of the day, you know, you should be pursuing multiple strategies for trying to land your first job and LinkedIn is just one of those. But here's a way where you can use lots of different aspects of the LinkedIn platform to increase the likelihood that you can land that first job. So I hope you like this video. As always, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so that more people learn about blockchain. And if you're as fascinated with this technology as I am, you want to get your hands dirty, how can you get started today? You can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find those free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You just be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.